duckies and Dilip here, back with another streamer showcase. This is the second streamer showcase. If you've not seen the previous one, to get some more inspiration for what you could add to your streams, then check the link in the description down below. I'll also put it up there, maybe. I don't know. Depends how lazy I am, all right? I've not posted for a few days. I've had a couple of things going on in my personal life, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm back. Hopefully, we'll get one going every day. All right, enough talking. Let's get on to it. Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. So last month, there was loads of things that I showed you guys that, that's been going on in the kind of streaming community. We had stuff from Mr. Joe Delicious, which our collab is just around the corner. We had Nico Hart with his crazy text-to-speech using Biku Bot. Ellie Face, we had Waldo. We had everybody getting on it. It was pretty good. And we've got even more, I wouldn't say better, but some very unique things coming. Let's just get on with it, shall we? Let, let's, let's buzz down here. Hello, Milo. Milo Christ, what a guy. What have you got for us today? The Christ here. Hey. I wanted to show you my Toichigito filter. Oh, uh, yeah. So here it is. Okay. Whoa. I love that. I love that. That's, that is a... See, just like... Oh, that is cool. 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 I can use my little boy voice. So if you want to know how I did it, all right, all right, all right. So he's using the, the whole Ant-Man kind of vibe for this. So this is something I want you guys to, to think about. Think about this. Why are you making something interactive? What does it do? Rather than just doing a voice changer, for instance, make something happen on screen. Like he's made himself go really small there, just like Ant-Man does. Sounds squeaky like Ant-Man. So it gives it kind of a, a, a cause and an effect. So it kind of builds a bit more of a story. So rather than just turning on a, a voice effect, he's kind of created a narrative there. So that is something that can really take your effects to the next level. This is why I've kind of chose, chosen this one, because it's just so simple, but so thinking outside the box to make the effect it's a, a whole lot better. Well. How did you do it? Aliens. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. You probably see who we got up next there. Oh dear, Milo. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. If you guys have not seen Milo's streams, he's honestly very creative. You'll get a lot of inspiration. He does stream in Spanish, but obviously he does speak a little bit of English. That's why I don't kind of jump in there too often. But when I do, there's always something awesome around the corner. It's great to see these ideas. And you see all the things that you've just seen there. There's no video editing involved. It is all done just the inside of OB. Yes, okay, it's a nice one. Thank you for submitting that. Next up, we got Bongo, as you probably saw, and I just had to choose this. I actually originally saw this on his TikTok. Um, this will just speak for itself. Little, uh, little mess around with a channel, well, soon to be channel. Cheeky little mess around. I absolutely love this. It's just the sounds and everything. It's just so legit. <laughs> so I'll get washed in a washing machine. Love it. <laughs> just get washed in washing machine. Absolutely beautiful. I, I just love how simple and straightforward something like that is. It's like that whole just barrel roll concept. Like something so simple takes a couple of seconds. It doesn't doesn't take long to create something like that. It it just you need the imagination. So. I always try and tell people, like, with with the tools that we've got now in streaming, the Orange Board, Touch Portal, Biku Bar, all that kind of thing, literally, the possibilities are endless of what you can do. And the, he had got a lot of attention on TikTok for that one video, actually. So it shows that sometimes the more, not necessarily basics, that's just using a move command. That's that's all that's kind of being done there with a nice little uh, picture on, on the front of the washing machine. But the way that you, like the whole cause and effect thing that I was talking about, wh why why something happens, if you polish something to make it look good, trust me, you have such a good interaction with your audience, and they just find it so engaging and interactive. So, 
Definitely go and check that out. I'm, I think Bongo's done a tutorial on it. If he has, I'll put it in the description down below because it is awesome. Maybe you might see a collab soon. I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe. Next up, this. This blew my mind. I need to resize this. That's that's my bad. Look at that. Oh, I, I was I was totally ready for this, uh, for this uh, recording session. Really ready for it. So this is Mystery Pinball Theater. 3000 so you obviously know what this is this is kind of pun of honestly this video clip is quite long it's four minutes long so i'm going to skip sections but you'll get the gist of it pretty quick it is honestly i think this is probably one of the most creative things i've ever seen anybody do in obs tickets are now available nice the little move transitions there theater. look at all the things that are happening well, that on screen that, right now <laughs> So really I do have to. Uh, I love this. So this is an interactive I do have to game. I didn't if you've not been a across to, to MPT the, uh, um, 3K, you Brian's need to get across. So I do apologize. I didn't. So we've get got a chance five contestants to, in here. Well, so basically, what is going to be happening? I'm going to turn this down slightly. And if you're um, here, they're going to be watching a video, just like um, the, the whole mystery theater. You know, got five people um, with tickets right here. It's going to be exactly like this. Tickets are first come, first serve. So if you want to, oh, here we go. He's probably going to explain it better than me. As soon as Pinbot says tickets are available. They're all gone. So what your job is in the, in the audience is to vote for whoever you think is funny. The votes uh, never run out. There will be like a... So it's kind of like a Jackbox style uh, kind of vote voting system. Exclamation point vote space the number or exclamation point V space the number. And that will give them random points that don't matter. But if they get consecutive votes from different It makes people, you feel good, though. Random points is good. X, four X, up to 5x of that so random So, creating score, kind of bonus. Really I'm, I'm just going to skip it and, slightly uh, on. I've so, we get into the, the meets. So, it plays uh, an old school tape. And he comes in here and sits down, as you can probably see down there. Um, I just love the look of this overlay. So, we're watching a very old school film right now. And everybody's got to write captions. So... <laughs> It's a simple enough matter to give people you meet. And then people are going to be voting pass. for the answers that they like. Again, and as you can see at the top, there's a scoreboard um, just up there. You'll be able to see that. And honestly, I could sit here and talk about this for ages. I'm going to pause it there. You need to go across. Oh, my God. It is just so interactive and it is a great laugh. Obviously, it is all very um audience driven because obviously it's all about the audience uh, participation and engagement but when you've got something so unique like that you're always going to get that kind of that customer base should we say so i would totally totally recommend jumping across there because there's a lot of things that you probably saw there was a few move transitions happening uh, and different things to get different elements on screen i believe he is using the orange board for most of the stuff I, I know i did did ask a little while back but obviously setting the variables and then having the scores all animate at the top of the screen, stuff like that. There's so much that you can do. This is what I mean by literally anything is possible. If you've got an idea and you're dreaming about this idea, just talk to somebody about it. We can always help out together. That's what the, the Li Lippy Committee is all about. That's what Stream Up's all about. We're here to just kind of get the best out of everything we possibly can, all right? So let's jump on to a, another video, shall we? Um, I don't, I don't really know what's happening with VLC play right now. Oh, well, are we in? Here we go. So here is another geese that I completely love. This is Rad Trace. He sent me this a long time ago. I know it's probably changed a lot since he has changed, uh, since he has sent it to me. But this, I thought, was such a clever way of doing a move transition. Just, just, just check it out. So we've got Rad Trace just chilling here, just cruising with his little cam box around the, the corner. Uh, I, li I like these different styles of stream as well. Like, people are coming up with some very unique kind of layouts and stuff. So look at this for a move transition. Like, that is awesome. Is it not awesome? Right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pause it again right there. And we're just gonna watch that. Like, using multiple move transitions rather than, again, doing the whole narrative thing. Like, why is this camera moving? Oh, because it's getting grabbed by the claw, the claw. And it's getting moved just like that. So, like, 
adding multiple kind of movements to different sources to link them together. Uh, the way he's doing that is in the Oran body, he's getting the position of his camera. That move will actually work from anywhere. It doesn't matter where his camera is, it will always work because it's going to get the X and Y coordinates and move to that location to pick him up, just like the grabber machine. Declare. If anybody wants to use that idea, definitely get on with it. Definitely do it. <laughs> Declare. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. <laughs> but that is, is such a cool idea. Just getting that whole movement uh, to happen via different means. So rather than just getting it to move across the screen, there's a reason that that is happening. So, right. So, you know, how I've been like not being a very good like recorder. Uh, I've had to do a bit of, bit of editing, which I don't normally do because I was missing one. And this one is probably my favorite. So it's a good job I didn't bloody miss it. Let's have a look at this from Ellie J. So th this is just, this is awesome. This is a two minute. I know I only say 60 seconds for these clips, but sometimes you need longer to, to really showcase it. And I believe this is available for people using stream elements. Don't hold me to that though, but I'll hold, I'll give uh, Ellie J's links all down below and everything like that. So don't worry about it. J. And this is Stream Trading, this up. an interactive chat game that I created for my viewers. Uh, I'm gonna move here. So we've got stream trivia. What car sold uh, more uh, more than one million units, uh, and then they can choose the answer. And then if it's right, ding 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 ding. And this is all happening just using chat. So uh, Ellie J built this from the ground up. Uh, sent it across to me a little while ago, and I was like, oh, maybe maybe I should build something like this in. Leoran board like this this could be quite a cool little interactive game and it's still on the cards I'm sure she said it was okay for me to to base it on this and we'll, we'll probably see a collaboration, but Do you see how like? Doing these little things and if it's available for stream elements right now There we go. Ellie LJ you won guys. I'm Ellie J. Hope you guys liked it. Bye Yeah, hell yeah like it is it's such a nice way of making your own like jackbox game for instance and maybe just having something that comes on screen uh, for a little amount of time maybe during maybe maybe you've gone to the toilet you know what i mean maybe you've gone to the toilet maybe you need to entertain somebody from the toilet get them doing a quiz how much do they know about you and the the questions i believe are customizable and stuff like that but I expect to see something for, with a collab between me and LEJ at some point uh, and maybe stream up. I, I don't know what, but hopefully there will be something in the future. But hopefully these few videos have given you a little bit of inspiration on the, on what you could potentially do on your stream, going from like basic stuff to advanced stuff to even stuff that you can just download and use. Like, yeah, there's a lot of things that you can do. So dream big. If you've got any ideas or anything you need help with, Feel free to reach out in the Discord, and if you want to collaborate with Stream Up and stuff like that, please just let us know, and we can make your ideas a, a reality. All right, uh, enough bogus now. All right, so these videos take a little while for me to do. So if you want to support me, jump on Patreon. All the links are in the description. Okay, and I will see you in the next one. Put your rock over the stone. Much love. Goodbye. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.